welcome to Align with Ariana. I am Ariana, of course. I am a psychic medium if you are new to my channel. I am able to channel different spirits that have passed on and sometimes spirits that are still here for answers. Before we get into this reading, if you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com and let's go ahead and get started. So this reading off the bat, what I am feeling guys in my chest area, it was like a ton of bricks had hit me in my chest and I am doing a reading on Kim Porter. Her chest collapsed. Her chest collapsed. She was, um, it was something in the area that, that put the pressure on, but why? She's saying something about a documentary or something, or some type of secrecy um, was going to be revealed or being done. And she is, um, she is, she was com confronting and, and, and confronting a lot of her friends and um, confiding in them about what was going on in her life. Um, and she was trying to get well, but she was very, um, she was going through things at, with, um, something was going on with the finances in her life. Something was going on. It was a lot of changes that were going to be made. I guess the kids that she has um, were getting older, and I don't know if she was getting as much support um, financially with the kids um, so she was it was some changes that were going on even in her career because people noticed that she was different um, she wasn't the same person and a lot of people were trying to cut ties with her because they noticed that she was going through a downward spiral she is telling me that she had some type of mental um, she was diagnosed with some type of mental um, anxiety or depression that she was going through. I'm sensing something had happened as well a couple weeks prior to her hearing. Um, she was going through some changes or something with her ears. I don't know if it was like a water, um, water ear or something, but something was going on with her ears a couple of weeks prior to what had happened in the space but I am I am feeling some type of pressure some type of anxiety on my chest area now um, she is saying that her kids were not around um, she did have um, she was taking some type of medication as well as she, she was still she was doing some type of drinking as well um, so she had a combination of two things and um, I'm sensing she had experienced a lot with um, anxiety or depression. She did, um, she's telling me that she did try to seek help or seek some type of counsel for that. And she was taking some type of medication for that. But she, 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 um, she doubled up or kind of increased her medication a little bit more than she should. And, um, I'm showing that pressure on her chest. Um, I don't know much about how she passed, um, but I just, I feel the pressure um, as, I, I feel the pressure on, on my chest for her passing. Um, she did mention something about a documentary. Okay, something about a documentary that or some type of series or she was trying to break feet free and do her own thing and talk about her life and talk about her experience as being a model and being a, a mompreneur. She's saying a mompreneur um, and um, being a wife of someone of, or a wife or ex-wife of someone that of, of um, very high prestigious status and um, She's saying that her life was changing dramatically. Financially, it was hard for her to find support for the children um, in the ways that she wanted to because her career had came to a stop. She said that she was booking um, some gigs like for like a veteran in the game, like to give advice, or she was expected to be um, on a couple of series for like a veteran in the game. But no one could trust her because she's saying that she was, it was unpredictable because she would, she would lash out. Um, 
she would lash out. She was ha she would have these um, anxiety attacks as well. She had anxiety attacks in combination of um, her lashing out on people because she she didn't feel secure about her financial situation, which was changing. Um, she said that she was getting ready to pack up pack up her home where she was because they were going to have to relocate. And she's not saying relocate to another state, another area. She's saying relocate out of the house, out of a house to a smaller house or something that was more affordable. Um, because she's saying that in that house it would get lonely and she would, um, she, she hated it because it was, it was lonely and she didn't like the empty sounds. So she wanted to be in something more confined, like a condo or something, um, because she didn't like the house. She didn't like the house anymore. So she was getting ready to put it up for sale anyway. Um, she was. She's very concerned about. She's not concerned about the kids in the way of support because she she knows that they're fully supported. She just doesn't like the idea that she's not there with her kids. She's not there with her kids, but she's saying that she has been missing for a long time with them in spirit and in mental, in her mental space, she had been missing from them because she could not give them the things that she needed. She said they could not, she said her girls understood, but her boy did not, her boys or her boys, boy did not understand her mental space. So he wanted to leave um, very young. He wanted to go away very young because he didn't understand. The girls understood. She said, my girls understood where I was that I could not give them this. She said, a part of me wanted to leave them in so much peace. Um, and she said, a part of her feels like this was the most peaceful way that it could be. It could be, it was very peaceful for her because she did not have to uh, have some type of fight or, or, or it blow up or some type of dramatic spill of something. She's saying this was very peaceful for her. She's not happy with um, leaving so soon at all. Um, she's saying that it was so much more to give, but she's saying that in her mental space she could not give anymore. And um, she is telling me that um, she needed a release. She's saying that I needed a release um, for for my journey, for my life. Um, she is. She was very. She was. If you met her, you would think that she would be one of one person that would um, not speak or be all into herself. But she was very giving, very loving to individuals and peoples, but uh, people, but a lot of people just didn't know how to approach her because she had this sense of dignity that she cared about herself. It intimidated a lot of people, but she was, she was not the person that was very um, aggressive when you meet her. Um, she was very stern in knowing what she wanted and who she wanted and the, and the people she wanted around her, but she was not very, um, a, as aggressive as she looked um, or appeared to be to some. And um, she is also saying that um, she has a sister or cousin or something that she that was very dear to her, that was very close. And um, this person was, a, some, I guess, someone a, that was a friend, but someone that is close, that was dear to her, that was on her status, that um, was very concerned about her during the last the last um, passing of her time or last couple of days of her time, months, weeks, years, she's saying. Um, so someone had kept a close eye on her, um, but they were not um, expecting her to go on her journey alone. She wanted to walk away. As we see, the money, it was a money situation. She was going to lose some money. She was not getting income as much as possible. That is what drove her heart to ache, her chest, to feel compressed, pushed down. It was the pressure, it was the overload. Um, her boys had walked away. Her boys had walked away and um, her daughters were there, but um, they could understand, but her mental space was just not there. 
she was going to go seek counsel in whatever way possible and um, she's, she's worried about the girls. She's saying, I'm worried about the girls, I'm worried about my girls. Um, she's just not worried about them in a sense financially. She's not worried about them in a sense financially at all. She's just worried about the, the protecting, the nurturing, the guiding, the, um, the process, process that it takes to make them women. Um, she, she's worried about that process because she was strong in a sense of who she was. So she knew what it took to raise a woman. So she wants, she wanted to be, um, she wanted to be here in that, for that. Um, so she's, she's just praying that they won't be misguided. I'm sensing that a mother or a grandmother or someone um, of importance, um, not a mother, but like someone that played like a motherly figure is here protecting her girls and watching them along the way. She did have a collapse or something that happened in the chest area. It was not related to a murder or anyone else doing that. It was um, it was the overload or overpressure of what was going on in her life. She did not vocalize it often. She talked to very close people that she trusts because she didn't want the status of her to be appear, appear to be any different from where she was when she was at the high point of her career and her life. Um, she is, um, which that's why she was getting ready to make a transition. She was getting ready to sell the house. She was letting things go. They just didn't come quick enough for her. Um, and the pressure that she had the pressure that she had. She had a lot of pressure. She had planned to move on in her life and work to getting better health, work, working to get a better financial secure, security. The horse that she was riding on, the support that she had to support her was no longer there. It was moving away. Why was it moving away? Um, because she's saying that it felt like, or he felt like, it it needed to be a change. He did not want to support her anymore, and that is what drove her freaking insane. That's what drove her insane. It's the lack of support. It put pressure on her chest that's what she's saying it drove me crazy it drove me insane because it put pressure on me pressure in ways that she was not built to handle it put pressure on her heart on her chest on her total being and that is why this is here ten of swords it was very and i feel like it's more to this yes yeah, she could not handle it anymore she could not handle it. Mm. She showed up. And whoever her friend in a friend was or a cousin or someone that was very important to her, she looked at her like a, a queen that supported her own, that had her own. That This queen has about three kids or so. And um, she tried to help her in many ways more than the woman knew and she tried to give her a new hope a new hope a new way of thinking but she did not want she did not want a new way of thinking she tried she she did at first but she kept having back and forth uh, ways about it she was possibly dating like a younger guy as well and um, or trying to get involved with this younger guy and she, like a part of her feels like the younger guy added more pressure she's not very trusting of of people and this young guy that came into her life she was trusting of him but she said something was not right about him as well so she's almost feeling like um 
there's more into it. Like, yes, she had chest pains. And previously before, she said that she went to the hospital before for something. But the cause of her death or her passing was chest. But she said that it was some shady stuff after that happened that occurred with a young male-like energy that that wanted or went in her place, like that went in her house and started taking things. She was saying she said that they were there, people to protect it. They're there. It's people there protecting her stuff now. But whoever she had, this guy, he. He came in after um, to start to take some things, and um, you guys, she is she loved um, her baby's daddy. She loved him. Um, she felt like he has been there to support her in more than one way, but she was not happy with the support leaving, and she could not engage or celebrate in any type of way because she she was not happy with the fact that her support was leaving all that she knows all of who she was and she wasn't in the mental space or capacity to help or to see past it to see it as a door opening up for her to venture out into her own she couldn't do that anymore she she tried um and she she's waiting. It was like she was waiting on the time for her to leave. And she's saying that she couldn't she couldn't mentally support herself mentally. That she was just out of it. She didn't want it anymore. She didn't want it. She didn't want it. She was not in the mental space, and that is what caused the pressure. It was like a, a, it was like as if your computer or your motherboard was a virus had came in and it caused it to crash or overload it was an overload for her she could not do it anymore and that is what caused her to leave she is saying that she misses her kids all of her kids she's talking a lot about the girls and it just relates to um, the girls being able to grow into women um, but she's saying that she knows she has a good support like a team or a figure, mother-like figure here, um, aunts, uncles, um, not uncles, but aunts or like a grandmother or someone, um, or someone that carried that motherly-like role here to guide her girls and lead them on the right way so that they may become strong women in the presence as well. She was big about the presence. Um, she said that she knows that on the inside she was hurting, but her presence never projected it. It wasn't until she got to the stage that she was at and started losing gigs and not really, really being able to big book stuff where she said she felt like my presence um, had started to show up, my inner had started to show out on my outer. But um, she is very concerned about the girls. She wants them to know that she loves them. And she loves all her kids. But these girls, she's talking about a lot. Because she said it's important as a woman to dig your feet down and um, find your own. Find what makes you you. And she's saying, I, I, had to, I tried to break past that point. It was very hard. But I want my girls to know that they too can do it as well. So I want to thank you guys for aligning with Ariana. If you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com. And for more goodies, for more details, for more working your magic, peace.